Otto is a man of many talents. Hey, great fish. Oh, a little squeeze of lemon, some tartar sauce. Ken Buck is a man of few words. You tell him from me. George is the man with the plan. Thirteen millions, my friends. And Wanda. Do you speak Italian? Molto pericoloso. Is the woman they love. They all set out to commit the perfect crime. To 20 million. To a job well done. But it turned into something. George moved the loot? Less than perfect. Disappointed! So they turned to a lawyer named. Archie Leash. Leash. George is going to tell him what the diamonds are. With Wanda as the bait. I want you to make love with me. Ha. Nothing, nothing. He's really hooked. I thought you weren't jealous. I'm not. I don't believe in jealousy. It's for the weak. How come a girl as bright as you could have a brother who's so. Don't call me stupid. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize unreservedly. Are you totally deranged? You're afraid so, old chap. John Cleese. Will you leave immediately, please? Jamie Lee Curtis. Kiss me there. Kevin Klein. Put the other one up. Michael Palin. May I kiss you, Ken? No, you can't! A fish called Wonder. <laughs> A smashing. Oh, dear. Comedy. Good evening. And welcome to Insomnia Theater. I'm Paul Gannis. A Fish Called Wanda is a 1988 slapstick farce heist black comedy directed by Charles Crichton and written by Crichton and John Cleese. It stars Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis in a role written specifically for her, Kevin Kline, and Michael Palin. The film follows a gang of diamond thieves who double-cross one another to try and recover stolen diamonds hidden by their jailed leader. His barrister, Cleese, becomes a central figure and jealousies rage all about as femme fatale Wanda seduces him to locate the loot. It's one of my favorite pictures of all time. If you ever need a good laugh, this is one to watch. This is Otto. So, you're Wanda's brother. Good to be here, George. England is a fine country. She tell you what we need? Something like that. The picture grossed over $188 million worldwide, becoming the 11th highest grossing film of 1988. It received three nominations at the 61st Academy Awards, Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actor for Kevin Kline, which he would go on to win. A spiritual sequel, Fierce Creatures, was released in 1997. The British Film Institute ranked A Fish Called Wanda the 39th greatest British film of the 20th century. Cleese and Crichton had attempted to make a film together in 1969. Although the project never entered development, they promised each other that they would collaborate again. In June 1983, the two began writing the script for Wanda, and for the next two and a half years, they met three times a month to work on the script. According to Crichton, we had a week of rehearsals and then a gap of two weeks in which to incorporate any new ideas which had been thrown up to polish the script. According to Michael Palin, Cleese told an interviewer that he called his character Archie Leach, actor Cary Grant's real name, because I feel this film is as near as I'll ever get to being Cary Grant. Cleese, admitting in press interviews that he had no knowledge of how to direct a film, served as co-director since the studio executives at MGM were worried about Crichton's age. He was 78 at the time. On the set, Crichton wore a t-shirt presented to him by Cleese that was inscribed, Age and treachery will always overcome youth and skill. Cleese cast his real-life daughter Cynthia as his screen daughter Portia in the film. Filming began in England on July 13, 1987 and wrapped on September 21st after 70 days. The film premiered in New York City on July 7, 1988, and in Los Angeles on July 13, and was released theatrically on July 15 by Metro Golden Mayer. Six weeks later, it reached number one at the box office there. It eventually grossed $62.5 million in the United States and Canada, becoming the highest grossing British film of all time with a gross of 12 million pounds. Outside the U.S., including the U.K., it grossed $126.1 million for a worldwide total of $186.8 million. 
It was the number one rental video as well in the U.S. in 1989. Premier Magazine voted this movie as one of the 50 greatest comedies of all time. And it is included amongst the American Film Institute's 2000 list of the top 100 funniest American movies. Really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize unreservedly. You take it back. I do. I offer a complete and utter retraction. The imputation was totally without basis in fact and was in no way fair comment and was motivated purely by malice. And I deeply regret any distress that my comments may have caused you or your family. And I hereby undertake not to repeat any such slander at any time in the future. Okay. Until next time, this is Paul Gannis. In the words of Wanda, we'll say hello again one day. The popcorn's hot. Enjoy the film.